Now, it's time for a bit of fun. <laughs> There's a gold medal at stake, of course. But these two teams will be flying high as they have already qualified for the Olympic Games. Gold medal to be decided between the USA and Mexico. Well, Nikki, I'm going to ask you, you know I always do, two buoyant teams, who do you fancy to take gold here in Paris? This is going to be a really tight match, a really flamboyant match. We're going to hear lots of cheering and come on, each team, but oh, tight one, tight one. If I had to call it, I think I'd go USA. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I think uh, they found their mojo, the three of them, in the, the semi-finals. But look, let's face it, the uh, shackles are off. No more worries about qualifying for Tokyo. They've both done it. It's time to have a high quality contest here. Where both teams are nice and relaxed. It will be Alejandra Valencia to get Mexico off the mark. I think she drew an arrow there, wasn't quite happy with it, put it back, drew another, taking up a bit of time. Oh. Two to the left, one to the right. Just trying to get a spot to see whether the wind's blowing. If anything, it looks like it might be sort of blowing towards them. Good shot. Brown into the center. Not quite a ten. Settling at 10. Good, Jennifer Machino Fernandez. Yep. Nice. Contrast with 10 for Casey Calfold. She just looks so determined and solid. She just, you wouldn't believe she was 17. No, so experienced. And, you know, the feedback there was aim left nine. So, you know, good communication between the team. Just go out there, shoot the best shot you can. finish nine and two tens from Mexico venga, venga, venga. Good, focus. Good finish. 
Quick release from Mackenzie Brown. with that but they still can put good, this one to good, bed here good strong shot an eight will be enough yeah and the ten for a 56 and at two set points to the USA a, a very solid start from the USA but Mexico in there second rotation of arrows looked a lot more composed uh, so certainly not done and dusted but you'd rather be in the USA's shoes yeah Mexico just taking a bit of time surfing the goal trying to find out where it was where to aim but you know America much better communication knowing where to aim getting them right in there and you know we kind of talked about this is a bit of fun they've earned their spots for the Olympics now but this is like the penultimate test now before the games. We've got this right now, and then we've got the world, the last World Cup, Hyundai World Cup, coming up this week in Paris. And you know, these are your opportunities to show how good you are. These are your opportunities to show, you know, we're going to win. We're going to do the best we can at the Olympics. So both teams here really want to win this. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a good point that there's very few chances now uh, to put yourself to the test under pressure. I mean, there's nothing like the pressure of even just the first round at the Olympic Games, uh, but it's certainly the closest thing you're going to get to it here and the upcoming Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 3, which is going to be at the same venue. Uh, those teams that have qualified for the Olympic Games will be using it as practice. The teams that haven't will be using it to try and book their places at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals, which will come up in Yankton after the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Here, though, a gold medal is up for grabs. USA leading Mexico two set points to nil. Valencia gets us off the mark in set number two with a nine. Lots of discussion where to aim. There's not a lot of wind on this field, but it changes and it's critical. So a little bit of pressure potentially on the USA. A 28 out of 30 for Mexico through the first rotation. USA go one better than Mexico. Nikki, it's really interesting to see that I think there's a little bit of nurturing going on. A joint effort between the coach, Mackenzie Brown, and Casey Calfold just talking to Chino Fernandez through her shots. Yeah, you need that support within your team, and that's really important. And, you know, she's the least experienced archer there. Um, but she's shooting so well now, you know, once she's got that support and comfort around her, you know, this is what she can do, this is how she can shoot. So, yeah, it's really important that your team support each other. Bigger score available for Mexico this time. 
Ana Vasquez. Well, number 36. Yeah. Yeah. Gets a line for a 56. Good focus. Good finish. Just drifting over into the eight. Third reset of today. She's got away with the other two. Seven. This one's seven. drifted up into the seven. And just like that, the set has disappeared and it's come down to one arrow. And what's critical here is how Jennifer Machino Fernandez handles that moving forward. A nine for Calfold, sees them finish with a 53, but Mexico right back in this at two set points apiece. Uh, Nikki, look, we've seen this before uh, today, Machino Fernandez having to reset. That's the third time she's done it, and that's the worst result that she's seen having had to reset. But it isn't just about that one single arrow. Now it's about what happens next in her next arrow. Yeah, it's going to affect her confidence, you know, if she's struggling to really commit to the shot, you're going to be thinking about that again, so she's got to get herself out of that again, she's got to get the confidence back there, commit to the shot, know she can get it through, keep moving through the shot, and, you know, like we just talked about, her, her team are there to support her to do that, um, but, yeah, it's not, it doesn't give you good confidence, does it, so... Like we've talked about, there hasn't been massive events with loads of pressure this year, and like this is one of the biggest events to come to and, and really put yourself under that pressure. So, you know, it's also now a bit of a learning environment for her to, to try and sort this out. Well, amongst many other things, you, you do a bit of coaching at a relatively high level. Um, what would you be saying to her right now, if you were the coach in the box? Maybe working on a mental process, so, you know, has she got a mental program? What are you thinking about at full draw? So having some words to try and fill your conscious mind so that your body can do its thing. You know, your body knows how to shoot these arrows at this level. You've done all that hard work, so fill that conscious mind, let the body do its thing. Yeah, it looks like teammates Brown and Calfold trying to maintain an air of relaxation as well but mexico have pulled back level two set points apiece as valencia will start set number three Quite a long hold that time. That was, yeah. Ida can have those longer holds. Again, you know, timing is critical. We talk about timing. It's the length of time that up at full draw four. And I've just really got to keep these shots moving. Just a microscopic movement, but always keeping it moving. Yes, Well, 29, a good marker for Mexico. And look at how relaxed those three look. Wind blowing straight at Mackenzie Brown. Still pulls a nine out of it. So we've seen that before. Jennifer Macheno Fernandez just taking a couple of breaths before she begins her process. And that is the result. So, an opportunity now for Mexico to come from two set points down to lead this. They can afford to drop one point and still claim all the set points. Yeah. 
Venga, Ida. Protocolo de tiro. Disfrútelo. Firme, segura. Now it looks like the Mexicans are shooting happy. There's almost a little smile on the face of either a man. Breathing room now for Ana Vasquez. Venga, Pau, levantas con nueve. Es buen tiempo. Sabes hacerlo. Hay tiempo, dáselo. Time is running low, but it three tens to finish in a 59. And the reason for the celebrations is they know that they've put a target down that the USA cannot reach, and they will lead after three sets. Four set points to two. Mackenzie Brown comes back out with a 10 for the USA. This is all about confidence now. Well, a nervy seven in set number two is followed up by two nines for Macheno Fernandez. Good finish. There you go. Ten. And a 56 is the resulting score for the USA, but the set points go to Mexico. Well, we said this was going to be extremely tight. Uh, I think we knew that there was going to be a lot of energy here, but at the moment, the momentum is very much with the Mexicans. What a performance from them in set number three, Nikki, a 59 out of 60. They're really on fire now. You could just see how relaxed they were. Like you say, Ida was just kind of smiling as he went onto the line. And when you're in that mode, we just can't wait to shoot and you're enjoying it so much. That's when you do your best at archery. So, yeah, what a fantastic standard there is. But, you know, clean set to come. You know, can USA win this last one? Push us to that tie break. Love the tie breaks. Absolute nail biters. So let's see what they can do. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it will be the USA shooting first in set number four. It, it really is about what kind of marker they can put down because look at this confident Mexican team having shot 53, a 56, and then a 59. They are getting better and better. The job of Casey Calfold and her teammates is to put the Mexican team under pressure. Remember, Mexico just have to match the USA here to get the one point they need for the gold medal. Set number four, Mackenzie Brown eager to get off the, the line here and get this fourth set underway. That could bode well for the USA. No fuss process gets into full draw pretty quick. Mini reset there. Nine. Nine. No. Pulled a nine out of the bag. Nine. Looks like that just about clipped the line. Twenty seven out of thirty. Let's see. What the Mexicans can do here. They have been flying high through the last 12 arrows. Drifting out to the left. That time for Valencia. Yeah. It's almost like they're having a little bit of a laugh out there. I mean, there's a gold medal at stake here, let's not forget. <laughs> but this is how they shoot best. You know, they're just in their groove, enjoying life, enjoying their archery.
It's working for them. A one point lead at the halfway stage of this fourth set. Pressure switches back over to the American side. Yes! See straight away, Brown was happy with that one. Long hold, a little bit of movement, but that was why she held on. You could see her moving around. 47 so far for the USA. Uh, more than capable anchor. There's only shot nines and tens in this match. It's another nine for a 56. Mexico can afford to drop two points here and still win the gold medal. That's one of them. That's another one. So a ten required from Vasquez to level up the set and claim the single point they need for victory here in Paris. Time was running out. Oh, she's hit the 10. Under a clock pressure there. She scored the 56 that they need for Mexico to share the points with the USA and take the gold medal here in Paris. Five set points to three. What a brilliant match and um, what a prospect these two teams hold for us at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Before that, of course, we're going to see them at the Hyundai Archery World Cup here in Paris, starting in just a couple of days. Congratulations to Valencia, Roman and Vasquez. They've taken gold here in Paris, but more importantly, they've secured Olympic qualification along with the team they beat in the final, the USA. A fabulous performance from the pair of them to secure qualification along with Italy who claimed the bronze medal here, booking their place in Japan as well. But Mexico have taken gold here in Paris. Wow, what a performance, what a tournament of speed that's been. Oh, Nikki, uh, we knew it was going to be an exciting and a little bit more relaxed atmosphere in that gold medal match and that's just what we got. Yeah, the standard of the match was really, really good. You know, both teams out there shooting some fantastic arrows, showing us what they're made of. You know, a couple of flaws, a couple of little bits to work on, perhaps from, a couple, you know, both the teams. But amazing archery. You know, that 10 is the size of a CD and they're hitting it, you know, more times than not, really. So, yeah, amazing to see. And I think both these teams are going to be right up there in Tokyo.